Hello everyone, welcome to Foster Family Fun. Today we are in the kitchen and I am making refrigerator pickles out of my freshly harvested cucumbers. So over the last couple days, the garden has been booming with cucumbers. So I figured this is the perfect time to do what I love the best with cucumbers, which is make pickles. So this is refrigerator pickles, you guys. So it doesn't have to be canned. Um, you don't need any type of special equipment. So it's really easy and simple. And when it's done, you put it in the refrigerator and it will be ready to eat the very next day. So the first thing you want to do when you are cutting up your cucumbers, and I am making mine into these little spears because that's just the way I like to snack on my cucumbers. But when you're cutting your cucumbers from the garden, you want to make sure you cut off the stem end because there's some type of enzyme in the stem that can make your cucumbers uh, soft. And also you want to cut off the blossom end down here. And what I do with my end clippings, you guys already know, I just feed it to Dolly and the Nuggets. But if you don't have chickens, you can um, go ahead and put it in your compost. So to make refrigerator pickles, you pretty much just need a few ingredients. And the ingredients you guys see me use is just for my preference and my liking. You actually can um, switch it up. And you can use this recipe for other types of vegetables. It doesn't just have to be cucumbers. You guys know you can pickle your string beans that you're growing in the garden. You can easily pickle your carrots. You can pickle your okra. Just whatever you prefer. You can do this quick pickle, also known as refrigerator pickles, for any of your garden vegetables. So now that I have all of my cucumbers cut up into spears the way that I like them, I am going to be canning them in this uh, canning jar. This is just a regular quart ball canning jar. Um, I'm using this because we already had it here in the house. With refrigerator pickles, quick pickling, you pretty much can use whatever type of jar you want and whatever type of lid you want. But the jar has already been cleaned and sterilized as well as the pickles. I've already scrubbed them and cleaned them very, very well off camera. So I'm going to show you the solution that I put together for the um, pickles because with pickling, you need to have one part vinegar and one part water. That's just the basic refrigerator pickle um, solution. So I am going to be using all natural distilled white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar if you want to. You can use white wine vinegar, um, whatever type of vinegar you prefer. And I am going to do uh, two cups of white vinegar and two cups of water and get that boiling onto the stove. Okay, so I am going to put two cups of water into my hot pot as well as two cups of white distilled vinegar. And then also I am going to add in four teaspoons of salt. And the type of salt that I'm using is pink Himalayan salt. And that's just because that's the type of salt we use here in the house. Um, you can use sea salt or pickling salt, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to let this boil up together until the salt dissolves into it. And once the salt dissolves, then I'm going to pull it off the stove and let it cool for a little bit and put it into my jar with my cucumbers. Okay, so while the uh, water and vinegar solution is boiling and the salt is dissolving, I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasonings into the jar. 
I like to put my seasonings directly into the jar. You'll see different recipes and different ways that other people do it. So I'm going to put garlic in here. You can put garlic cloves. I don't have garlic cloves. This is the fine chopped garlic in water and I just always have this in the refrigerator at home. So I'm going to put that in there. And the seasonings that you use really just depend on what you like. But I'm going to add some black peppercorns. And I'm also going to add some uh, crushed red pepper flakes. A few of those just to give it a little spice little bit of spiciness and then also I am going to add some of these uh, this fresh dill and I didn't grow any herbs in my garden this season you guys but when I do grow herbs next season or who knows I might grow some later on in a couple weeks dill is definitely something that I will grow an herb that I will grow because I really really enjoy dill pickles and you can play around with the seasonings that you like this is pretty much just like the basic dill pick pickle seasoning and that is what I'm going to stick with today now how much seasoning you put in here really is just up to you and some people like to play around with it they might put bay leaves in it um, if you're doing pickling different types of uh, vegetables, you might want to, you know, put some coriander in it, whatever you prefer. And then once I get all the seasoning in there, I just go ahead and put the cucumbers right on in there. And I think that I cut up six cucumbers and I th think that they all should fit in here nicely. I press them all in and you guys these are refrigerator pickles remember so we won't be canning them um, we weren't, aren't using any type of special equipment, so you can just stuff them on in here. So I'm going to make them all fit. <laughs> so I'm going to stuff these little small pieces right into the top and pour the solution right over that. So there you go. I got them all in there. What I am going to do is put a little bit of seasoning on top as well. A little bit more dill because I really enjoy the deal. A few more red pepper flakes and a few more black peppercorns. There you go. So this is ready. It's all jarred up. And it is ready for the vinegar and water solution. Okay, so I have a funnel on the jar and I am just going to pour this vinegar and water and salt solution up to the top of the pickles. And this is just a canning funnel. I have it on here so I won't spill. <laughs> and everything has dissolved in here. And if you look real close, it's covered all the way up to the top. And that's it, you guys. This is the quick and easy way to make refrigerator pickles. And remember, this is a quick pickle. So it has to go in the refrigerator. It's not shelf stable. We didn't, you know, process it and can it. So as soon as you make this and you put the solution on here, if your solution is a little bit warm, I would say just sit it on the counter for a few minutes so it can cool down and put it directly into the refrigerator. And these pickles will be ready to eat as soon as tomorrow 
but I'm going to put mine in the refrigerator and let it sit for a couple of days just so the solution can really get all mixed up in there and I'll probably you know toss it around and jostle it each day just so you see all the seasonings can move around into the pickles now if you're doing whole pickles and you didn't slice it it might take you a few extra days to really get the taste of um, dill pickles when you slice it of course you know it can get into the pickle sooner and these are fresh cucumbers so the skin is a little bit harder and it takes a little bit of time for the seasoning to seep into the skin but I'm gonna let mine sit in the refrigerator for about three days and then after that I will come back and taste them with you guys it's been two days since I've turned my homegrown cucumbers into pickles and it's been sitting in the refrigerator today is Thursday and I made them on Tuesday so now I am going to open up the jar and give them a taste. Now with these refrigerator pickles, you can't eat them as soon as the very next day, but I wanted to give it a little bit more time for the seasonings to seep in. And in actuality, I actually wanted to give it three days. I wasn't gonna taste until Friday, but I'm very eager and excited and I just can't wait. And every time I open the refrigerator and see the pickles in there all I want to do is just try them out so I'm just gonna go ahead and try them out now so you can definitely see that the color of the liquid has changed it's gotten a lot darker when we first put it in here it was uh, pretty clear so that definitely is a good sign that the seasonings have sunk in so let's go ahead and open it Oh, and even nice, the seal actually was sealed in there. So hopefully that means that they're going to taste very fresh and crunchy and not soft. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. You know, the smell reminds me of the pickles that are in the refrigerated section, not the, pic the pickles that are on the shelf. Um, the ones that are in the refrigerated section of like Sprouts or Whole Foods or Publix that have the liquid in them and all the seasonings that you can see. And when you open it up, it just smells. You can smell the dill and you can smell all the spices. It smells so good. I wish, I'm trying to wave it to you guys. I wish we had Smell-O-Vision. It smells super, super good. So I have the little ones at the top, but I'm going to try to reach down in here and get a big spear. And yes, I'm putting my fingers in here. Nobody else is going to eat them but me. The Rory's do not like pickles. So this jar is all for me. I love pickles. I keep jars and jars of them in my pantry. I buy them all the time. So if this tastes delicious, that's one less thing I'm going to have to worry about buying from the grocery store. Okay, let's give it a taste. Okay, here goes nothing, the very first bite. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, they are delicious. And you can hear the crunch. They're still very, very crunchy. I love them, love them, love them. They taste exactly like dill pickles, but the fresh dill pickles. And they have a little bit of a kick to them, a little bit of heat, because I did put some extra red pepper flakes and black peppercorn in there. Oh, these are a winner, you guys. These are definitely a winner. I will not be <laughs> buying pickles from the store anymore. I am going to continue to grow cucumbers 
and make my own pickles at home because these taste so good. They taste so much better than the uh, pickles that you, you know, the, the deal ones that you get right on the store shelves. These taste way better and they're so much fresher. So you guys, this recipe is definitely a winner. You have to give it a try. If you're growing cucumbers out in your garden this season, definitely try this refrigerator pickle recipe. I'll make sure I leave the recipe down in the description box. Or if you go to the grocery store and they have a good deal on cucumbers and you just want to buy up some and try the recipe, it's definitely worth it. It is a winner in my book. And I can't believe I did it myself. I grew the cucumbers. I made pickles. This was my very first time making it and it is a winner. I'm so happy and excited about it, you guys. Thank you all for following us along on this gardening journey. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future Foster Family Fun videos. Thanks for watching.